Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up 50 Burning Shadows booster packs. And this is the largest opening of Burning Shadows that I'll do on my channel. Opened up a 40 booster pack, lot of Burning Shadows booster packs previously. Definitely check out that video if you have not already. So these Burning Shadows booster packs, I did get from a booster box and then a couple of Elite Trainer boxes I bought from Troll and Toad. You'll find a link to their website in the description of this video. And I think this is something I'm going to do with future sets as well. Opening up 40 packs and then 50 packs. I did that with Guardians Rising, now with Burning Shadows. So this is almost one and a half booster boxes worth of packs. So I should be getting very good pulls overall. First pack has Tapu Fini on it. Here's the code. Card trick is four and then two to move the rare and reverse solo to the back of the pack. And the first pack in this opening starts with a Meowth, Alolan Vulpix, Wimpod, Togedemaru, Krogunk, Fairy Type Energy, Bouffalant, Electric, Rhydon, Inke is the Reverse Holo, that is a common, and the Rare is a Beware. And if you're interested in figuring out how much these cards are actually worth, yesterday I did my How Much Are Burning Shadows Pokemon Cards Worth video, definitely take a look at that. The most valuable card in this set is the Charizard GX Rainbow Rare, would love to pull that card. Second pack here starts with a Stuffle. Pan Sage, Krogunk, Pikachu, Panpour, Grass Type Energy, Sophocles, one of the six full art trainer cards in the set, Escape Rope, Rotom Dex, Reverse Hollow of that same Rotom Dex, this is an uncommon, and the rare in the pack is a Tangrowth. And I'll summarize all of my good pulls at the end of this opening. Should have a lot of good pulls to summarize. And this set is the third Sun and Moon series set. I believe it is the 74th set in the English TCG. August 4th, 2017 was the official release date. This pack starts with a Noibat, Dupiter, Tangela, Rhyhorn, Riolu, Fairy Type Energy, Saviper, Wick, another trainer you can get in full art form, Wobbuffet, Reverse Solo of a Sneasel, common rarity, and the rare is a Shinodic, and that is a rare non-hollow. 12 total cards per pack, 10 cards from Burning Shadows, and then one online TCG code card, and then one basic energy card. Dupiter to start this pack, Tangela, Rhyhorn, Riolu, Cutie Fly, Water Type Energy, Guzma, this is the most valuable full art trainer in the set, as well as regular trainer. Whirlipede, Tormenting Spray. Lycanroc, there is the first good pull of this opening, Rare Reverse Hollow. And the final card in the pack is a Ledian, and that is a Rare non hollow Another Mars Shadow cover artwork pack now, four different cover artworks for this set. I would also like to pull out a Ho-Oh GX full art. It is one of the featured Pokemon for this set, but not available in GX Rainbow Rare form. Caterpie to start this pack. Porygon. Sock. Oddish. Charmander. Darkness-type energy. Solrock. Rebombi. Sophocles. Reverse Solo of a Crabominable, and that is the second rare Reverse Solo of this opening. And the final card is a Persian. So have not pulled anything good out of that final spot in the pack yet. Ho-Oh cover artwork pack now. And normally in booster boxes you pull anywhere between 11 and 13 combined hollows, ultra rares, and secret rares. So I'm thinking I should get around 15 combined of those types of cards in this opening. Oddish to start this pack. Duskull. Esper. Morlull. Charmander. Darkness type energy, Plumeria, Soul Rock, Guzma, Reverse Holo of a Meow Stick, so I've done very well with the rare Reverse Holo so far. And the final card is a Turtonator. I know in my 40 Burning Shadows booster pack opening, pulled out a lot of rare holo cards. Hopefully it's the opposite here, pulling ultra rares and secret rares. 
but still shut out in that rare spot in each pack, pulling all rare non-holo cards. Alolan Vulpix to start this pack. Ralts. Alolan Grimer. Sneasel. Charmander. Lightning type energy. Noctowl. Mount Lanakila. Simiseer. Reverse solo of that same Simiseer. Uncommon reverse solo here. Second time that has happened in this opening. And the final card is a Butterfree. I am a fan of the artwork in Burning Shadows. The hollow cards in this set are a little bit darker. Sometimes it is a little bit harder to spot the hollow cards. Okay, so this pack, hoping for something good finally in that last spot. Starts with a Venipede, Sneasel, Horsey, Cutie Fly, Lediba, Grass type Energy, Seedra, Plumeria, Super Scoop Up, Reverse Hollow of a Rotom Dex, that is an uncommon, and the rare is an Araquanid. But I did mix these packs around to make the thumbnail of this video, so could have some good runs of Ultra Rares shortly. And another code card that has Redeem up here, that means it is a green code card. I could get two rare cards in the pack. So this pack starts with a Cutie Fly, Tynamo, Duskull, Inke, Stuffle, Fire Type Energy, Super Scoop Up, Simipore, Plumeria, Reverse Hollow of a Mudbray, just a common, and the rare is a Beware. I believe it is the second Beware that I've pulled in this opening so far. I believe Beware is in all three Sun and Moon series sets so far. Marshadow cover artwork pack, you can get a Marshadow GX in the set. Sock to start this pack. Mudbray. Oddish. Duskull. Esper. Psychic type energy. Guzma. Pulled a lot of Guzma trainer cards so far. Whirlipede. Tormenting Spray. Reverse Solo of Alana. You cannot get this card in full art form. Stated that incorrectly in a previous video. Uncommon rarity here. And the final card is the first holo of this opening in a Dusknor. Like I mentioned, a little bit harder to see the hollow pattern on the cards. Necrozma pack now, one of the featured Pokemon with Burning Shadows. Ololan Grimer to start this pack. Riolu. Meowth, and I do like how they've mixed different generations of Pokemon in this set. Ololan Vulpix. Wimpod. Lightning type energy. Solrock. Guzma, so another Guzma trainer. Electric. Reverse solo of a Pikachu. A lot of people are fans of Pikachu, of course. Common rarity. And Turtonator is the rare. Still plenty more packs to open up in this opening. Tapu Fini pack now. It is the white colored code card. It says TCGO at the top. And on average in a booster box, you're looking at four regular GX cards. Crab Roller to start this pack. Morlull. Sandy Gast. Venipede, Horsey, Darkness Type Energy, Simisage, Curlia, Heatmore, Reverse Hollow of a Meow Stick, and that's a rare. And I believe it is the fourth rare Reverse Hollow pull in this opening. And the final card is a Salazzle GX. So a regular GX card, a very cool looking card, and one that I have not pulled from a pack. So first ultra rare pull of this opening. And that is also the second rare meow stick that I pulled in reverse solo form. Hopefully the pulls are starting to heat up now. Cutie Fly to start this pack. Panseer. Magikarp. Alolan Rattata. Wimpod. Fire type energy. Weakness policy. Potown. Rotom Dex. Reverse Solo of Pikachu, Common Rarity, and the Rare is a Bruxish. Not bad in the TCG. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of Bruxish. Ho-Oh Cover Art Work Pack now. Ho-Oh GX and GX Full Art, not worth that much in the set. Mainly due to how good it is in the TCG. In this case, not that great. Cutie Fly to start this pack. Tynamo. Duskull. Inkay. Stuffle, 
Fighting type energy. Porygon 2. Kiawe, a good looking full art card. Olivia. Reverse solo of a dark I believe this is normally a hollow, so another rare reverse solo. And the final card is another regular GX in a Guard of War. And easily the most valuable regular GX in the set. It's worth about $15. So very happy with that pull. So that makes two regular GX so far. Tapu Fini pack now. And I'd say we're about 25% through this opening. Rhyhorn to start this pack. Ralts. Tangela. Crab Roller, Tynamo, Fighting Type Energy, Simapore, Electabuzz, Lana, Reverse Hollow of a Horsey, Common Rarity, and the Rare is a Heracross. Necrozma Cover Artwork Pack now. Mudbray to start this pack. Lediba, Hoot Hoot, Alolan Vulpix. Ralts, Metal Type Energy, Seedra, Lunatone, Rhydon, Reverse Hollow of an Alolan Raticate, and that's another rare Reverse Hollow. And the final card is a Meow Stick, so at least the third Meow Stick pull in this opening. Ho oh Cover Artwork Pack now. I would love to pull both a GX Rainbow Rare and a Secret Rare Energy or Trainer card out of this opening. It is possible to get both in one booster box. Morlull to start this pack. Charmander. Porygon. Meryl. Hoot Hoot. Water type energy. Wobbuffet. Whirlipede. Charmeleon. Reverse Hollow of a Vile Plume. So add that to the stack of rare Reverse Hollows off to the side. And then Toxicroak is the rare non hollow Marshadow cover artwork pack next here. And so far, not the greatest. The poles are starting to heat up a little bit. Togedemaru to start this pack. Krogunk. Panseer. Magikarp. Mudbray. Fairy type energy. Weakness policy. Potown trainer. Rotom Dex. Tynamo is the reverse solo common rarity. And the final card in the pack is a Persian. Another Marshadow cover artwork pack. Hopefully this one's a little bit better. Dupiter to start. Inkay. Crab Roller. Sneasel. Venipede. Lightning type energy. Tormenting spray. Lana. Heatmore. Reverse solo of that same Heatmore uncommon rarity. And the final card is an Electros. So it feels like I should be due getting something good out of this Tapu Fini cover artwork pack. Be able to tell in a second. Unfortunately, redeem after the Pokemon.com there. So Crab Brawler to start this pack. Morlow. Sandy Gast. Venipede. Horsey. Psychic type energy. Acerola. Gloom. Escape Rope, Reverse Solo of a Mount Lanakila, that is an uncommon stadium card, and the rare is a Malamar. Ho oh cover artwork pack now, and another green colored code card. So again, Crab Brawler to start a pack, Inkay, Lediba, Caterpie, Sandy Gast, Grass type energy, Sophocles. Saviper, Wick, Reverse Solo of a Krogunk, that's a common, and the rare is a Bruxish. It looks like three more packs left to go on the right stack, approximately 25 packs. So here is the code card. Tino to start this pack. Oddish, Duskull, Morlull, Caterpie, Fire Type Energy, Super Scoop Up. Rotom Dex, Seedra, Reverse Solo of a Shinodic, and that's another rare Reverse Solo. And the final card in the pack is a Palo Sand, and that is a Holo. So only the second Holo pull of this opening so far. Really hoping for a lot of good pulls in the second half of this opening. 
Caterpie to start the next pack here. Porygon, Sock, Oddish, Meryl, Psychic Type Energy, Wobbuffet, Seedra, Plumeria, Panpour is the Reverse Hollow, Common Rarity, and the Rare is a Mudsdale. I believe it was a Rare Hollow in Guardians Rising. Tapu Fini Cover Art Work Pack. Venipede to start this pack. Sneasel. Lolan Vulpix. Horsey. Noibat. Lightning Type Energy. Plumeria. Lunatone. Olivia. Reverse Solo of an Alolan Vulpix. That's a common. And the rare is a Tangro. So another rare non hollow. Final pack in the first stack that I showed at the beginning of this video. This pack starts with a Merrill, Rhyhorn, Sandy Gast, Hoot Hoot, Tangela, Darkness Type Energy, Super Scoop Up, Guzma, Whirlipede, Reverse Solo of a Diancie, and that's a rare. And then the final card in the pack is a Ledian. So I'd say about 25 more packs left to open here, so plenty more chances to pull some good cards. The Crow's going to cover our work pack now. And it looks like the code on there, almost unreadable. So Pan's here to start this one. Magikarp. Alolan Rattata. Wimpod. Togedemaru. Fighting type energy. Escape Rope, and you can get this in secret rare form. Rotom Dex. Saviper. Lycanroc, there's a good looking rare reverse solo, first one that I pulled in this opening, and then the final card in the pack is a Crabomitable. Ho-Oh cover art work pack now. So it does look like a white colored code card. Hoping for the best GX Rainbow Rare. Pack here starts with a Tangela, Dupiter, Inke, Ralts, Crab Roller, Darkness Type Energy, Wishful Baton, Rabombi, Sophocles, Reverse Solo of a Magikarp, Common Rarity, and the final card it does look like an Ultra Rare. It is a Necrozma GX. I believe this is the first Necrozma GX that I've pulled from a Burning Shadows pack. So that makes three regular GX cards so far for Ultra Rares. Very happy with that pull. So Necrozma cover art work pack now. Speaking of Necrozma. Mudbray to start the pack. Tynamo. Oddish. Duskull. Morlull. Fire type energy. Mount Lanakila. Simisir. Dusclops. Reverse solo of a Mount Lanakila. Second one of these in the pack. Uncommon for rarity. And the rare is an Azumarill. So first one of that Pokemon, I think, in this opening. Ho-Oh cover art work pack now. Still would like to pull the Ho-Oh GX full art. Sneasel to start the pack. Charmander. Crab Roller. Meowth. Stuffle. Water type energy. Acerola. Bodybuilding Dumbbells, the one secret rare trainer I've pulled in Burning Shadows. Seedra. Crabomitable, so add that to the stack of rare reverse hollows off to the side. And then Lycanroc is the rare, a rare non hollow. Pull a couple of Lycanroc in reverse hollow form so far. Tapu Fini pack now. I would say out of the Guardian Deities, I like Tapu Lele best. Mainly because it is the best in the TCG and the most valuable card. So this pack starts with a Pan Sage, Krogunk. Pikachu, Panpour, Cutie Fly, Psychic Type Energy, Soul Rock, Ribombi, Sophocles, Reverse Solo of a Weavile, and that's a rare. And the final card in the pack is a Gyarados, and that is a Holo. So only the third Holo pull in this opening so far. Like I said, really hope a lot of good pulls are in consecutive packs coming up here. So far, I've definitely had well below average pulls in this opening. So this pack starts with a Panpour, 
Caterpie, Porygon, always been a fan of Porygon ever since base set, Sock, Oddish, Lightning type energy, bodybuilding dumbbells, Metapod, Wishful Baton, Reverse Solo of a Simiseer, uncommon, and the rare in the pack is another bodybuilding dumbbells, and that is a secret rare trainer. And I say another, like I just mentioned a pack ago, the one secret rare trainer that I've pulled from this set bodybuilding dumbbells. Same goes for GX Rainbow Rare cards in this set. Have pulled out two GX Rainbow Rares out of all the pack openings I've done. Pull out Noivern both times. So sort of strange with Burning Shadows. And really a little disappointing because I'm trying to complete the set and then of course I pull duplicates of the cards. But I am very happy to have pulled a Secret Rare Trainer. They are very tough to pull. So Caterpie to start this pack, Meryl, Rhyhorn, Sandy Gast, Hoot Hoot, Metal Type Energy, Acerola, Gloom, Escape Rope, Reverse Solo of a Kingdra. This card is normally a hollow, so a rare Reverse Solo here. And then Electivire is the rare, a rare non hollow. Necrozma cover art work pack now. Like I mentioned, well below average pulls so far, even with that secret rare pull. But I did mix the packs around before opening. Charmander to start this pack. Meryl. Pansage. Esper. Pikachu. Grass type energy. Gloom. Lunatone. Wick. Reverse solo of a Togedemaru, common rarity. And the rare is a Passamian. Marshadow cover artwork pack now. Charmander to start this pack. Esper. Pansage. Pikachu. Noibat. Water type energy. Curlia. Rabambi. Guzma. Reverse solo of a super scoop up. Uncommon. And the rare in the pack is another holo in a Raichu. So that makes four hollow pulls in this opening so far. Another Necrozma cover artwork pack now. Alolan Grimer to start this pack. Riolu. Cutie Fly. Togedemaru. Dupider. Lightning type energy. Tormenting Spray. Simisage. Curlia. Reverse Solo of a Noibat. Common Rarity. And the Rare is a Malamar. So another Necrozma cover art work pack now. Does look like a white colored code card. Would like to pull something other than a regular GX. Of course anything other than a rare holo would be good. Pikachu to start the pack. Panpour. Cutie Fly. Panseer. Magikarp. Seems like Magikarp has been very good to me in this box. Psychic type energy, Wick, Wishful Baton, Ribombi, Reverse Solo of a Sneasel, that is a common, and the rare, oh wow, a Noivern GX, and that is a rainbow rare. Make that three of this rainbow rare card in my collection. Every single GX rainbow rare that I have pulled has been that Neuvern GX. So definitely disappointing, a little frustrating, but sort of funny at the same time. About one in two booster boxes, the three that I've pulled, exactly the same card, and there are 13 different GX Rainbow Rare cards I could pull, so definitely not very good odds of doing that, pulling the exact same Rainbow Rare card. Next pack here starts off with a Crab Brawler, Meowth, Stuffle, Pansage, Krogunk, Fairy Type Energy, Saviper, Wick, Wobbuffet, Reverse Stala of a Togedemaru, that is a common, and the rare is an Azumarill. Ho-Oh cover art work pack now. Still love to pull that GX full art of Ho-Oh. I am a huge fan of all these second generation Pokemon. Put over a thousand hours into Pokemon Crystal. Dupider to start this pack. Tangela. Rhyhorn. Riolu. Cutie Fly. Metal type energy. 
Heat more. Weakness policy. Poe Town. Reverse solo of a Heat more. Uncommon. Reverse solo. And the rare in the pack is a Dark Rye, a good looking hollow card. And one that reminds me of a hollow from Great Encounters. Have pulled that Dark Rye in reverse hollow form as well in this opening. So the pulls are starting to heat up a little bit. This pack starts with a Dupiter, Inke, Rawls, Crab Roller, Sneasel, Fairy Type Energy, Whirlypeed, Simisage. Weakness Policy, Reverse Solo of an Olivia, that is an uncommon, and the rare is a Toxicroak. Good looking artwork on the card, but a rare non-hollow. I'd say about 12 packs left to go in this opening. I am bound to get, I would think, some more Ultra Rares. So, this pack starts with a Meryl, Pansage, Esper, Pikachu, Noibat, Metal Type Energy, Cedra, Gloom, there is a Lunatone, Reverse Solo of a Weavile, and there's another Rare Reverse Solo, and the final card in the pack is an Ultra Rare, it is a Marshadow GX. So that is the fourth regular GX pull of this opening. I believe I have pulled Marshadow GX from Burning Shadows in the past. Wimpod to start this pack. Meowth. Magikarp. Krogunk. Pikachu. Fighting type energy. Porygon 2. Potom. Dusclops. Reverse solo of a Lycanroc. So I believe that is the third rare reverse solo of this card. And the final card in the pack is a Slow King. I don't think I've pulled that card from this opening so far. Just a rare non holo. Necrozma cover artwork pack now. It's still on the hunt for some type of full art. Ultra rare. Whether that be a GX full art or a full art trainer. Venipede to start this pack. Horsey. Cutie Fly. Lettyba. Alolan Grimer. Psychic type energy. Rotom Dex. Simipore. Electabuzz. Reverse Solo of a Gyarados, so another rare Reverse Solo, and the rare in the pack is a Weavile. So like I mentioned, in the 40 booster pack opening of Burning Shadows that I did, from Corey's card craze, it's very heavy on the rare holo cards there. In this opening, very heavy on the rare Reverse Hollows. Tynamo to start this pack. Duskull. Inke. Stuffle. Crab Brawler. Water type energy, Charmeleon, Tormenting Spray, Lana, Reverse Solo of a Duskull, Common Rarity, and the rare here is a Scolipede. Seven more packs to go, including this Ho Oh cover artwork pack. I would sure hope that the remaining packs are loaded up with ultra rares. Otherwise, it definitely is a well below average opening overall. So, Pans here to start this pack. Charmander, Alolan Rattata, Porygon, Panpore, Grass-type Energy, Lana, Metapod, Porygon 2, Reverse Solo of a Malamar, so another rare Reverse Solo, and the final card is another Gardevoir GX, so that is another regular GX pull in this opening, but the best GX card that you can get in the set, like I mentioned earlier, it is worth around $15. Marshadow cover artwork pack now. Rio Loot to start this pack. Meowth. Alolan Vulpix. Wimpod. Togemaru. Fairy type energy. Heatmore. Simisir. Mount Lanakila. Reverse Hollow of a Meryl, that is a common, and the rare is another regular GX, and this time it is a Tapu Fini GX. So I was correct in predicting some more ultra rare pulls to end this opening. So far, so good. Marshadow cover up work pack now. Venipede to start this pack. Horsey. Mudbray. Lettyba. Hoot Hoot, Grass-type Energy, 
Bodybuilding Dumbbells, Metapod, Wishful Baton, Reverse Solo of a Sophocles, that is an uncommon, and the rare is a Toxicroak. I'm hoping to pull one full art card out of the remaining four packs here. Not looking good here, green code card. Letty Butt to start this pack. Hoot Hoot. Alolan Vulpix. Ralts. Alolan Grimer. Fighting Type Energy. Bouffalant. Electric. Rhydon. Reverse Solo of a Panseer. That is a common. And the rare is an Electros. So three packs left to go. Hoping for three for three on the final spot in each of those packs. Ultra rare. Could be one for three here, TCGO, at the end of the URL there. Krogunk to start this pack. Panseer. Magikarp. Mudbray. Alolan Rattata. Metal type energy. Charmeleon. Rhydon. Noctowl. Sophocles is the reverse solo, that is an uncommon. And the rare is a Kingdra, and that is a hollow. I know I pulled that card in reverse hollow form earlier. Second to last pack now, Tapu Fini on the cover artwork. The pack starts off with a Pansage, Esper, Sock, Noibat, Stuffle, Darkness type energy, Electabuzz, Noctowl, Simapore, Reverse Solo of a Dark Rye. Add that to the stack. Rare Reverse Solo here. And the final card in the pack is a Heracross. So hoping to pull a full art card in the final pack in this 50 booster pack opening. And then I can summarize my pulls after this opening. So there's the code card. The pack starts with a Morlow, Sandy Gast, Venipede, Horsey, Mudbray, Fire Type Energy, Kiawe, Olivia, Bouffalant, Reverse Solo of an Inke, that is a common, and the rare is a Butterfree. So I can summarize my pulls now. So out of the 50 packs, I pulled out 17 rare Reverse Hollows in Darkrai, Malamar, Gyarados, Lycanroc, Kingdra, Weavile, Crabominable, Lycanroc, Diancy, Shinodic, Vioplume, Alolan Raticate, Darkrai, Meowstic, another Meowstic, Crabominable, and then a Lycanroc. Out of the 50 packs, I pulled only 6 rare holo cards in Kingdra, Darkrai, Raichu, Gyarados, Palosand, and then Dusnor. And then as far as Ultra Rares and Secret Rares go, I pulled out six regular GX cards in Tapu Fini, Gardevoir, Marshadow, Necrozma, another Gardevoir, and then a Salazzle. I pulled out one GX Rainbow Rare, which is a Secret Rare in Noivern. And then I pull out one Secret Rare Trainer in a Bodybuilding Dumbbells. So to summarize the pulls in this 50 pack opening, pulled out 17 Rare Reverse Hollows, 6 Rare Hollow, 6 Regular GX, and then 1 GX Rainbow Rare and 1 Secret Rare Trainer. So a little bit below average pulls overall, but was happy to pull out 2 Secret Rares from these packs. So there you go. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages, as well as a link to Troll and Toad's website. So thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.